Hey, welcome into the round pen with Duke here. Uh, I've only had one session since the last video, and that was several days ago, and I just repeated everything that you saw me do on the last video as far as slapping the stirrups and moving him, bumping the stirrups on his belly and that sort of thing, and I ground drove him. That was out in the arena. So what I'm going to do today, I realize I haven't done much desensitizing with this colt because he really doesn't need it. However, just because I don't think he needs it does not mean that I should skip it. So I'm going to go through some desensitizing stuff. And if you've watched many of my videos, I do this a lot with real reactive, scared, spooky horses because they need a lot of it. And uh, if he doesn't need it, if I'm right about that, then I'll move through this pretty quickly. And I think I've done the flag before once or twice and he's not bothered by that. I thought he wasn't, just double checking. Okay, good. Yeah, he, I haven't done it lately. So he kind of moved off, which is fine. But he's not overly afraid of it. He's not necessarily trying to run away from it. There we go, okay, good. So I think I've only done this flag with him maybe two times before. And he let me rub him with it, okay. So he passed that just fine. Yeah, all good. Next, from now on, these are things I have not done with him. So we'll see how he handles these. Let's start off with the blue tarp. To my knowledge, he's never seen one before. I've never shown it to him before, anyway. And I doubt that anyone else has. So first thing, I'll just let him sniff it. See what he thinks of it. And again, I, I doubt he's going to have much problem. But if he does, you and I will find it out at the same time. Okay, good, so he's fine with it there like that. Good, always do it on both sides. And you know, a lot of horses are really, really, really bothered by this stuff. And uh, I'm glad that he isn't. Okay, now I'm gonna open it up a bit more and let it make a little bit of noise. Touch him with it, shake it, yeah. And, uh, you know, that's kind of what I expected. But again, I don't want to skip any steps and assume something. Because if you do that, you'll, you know, a lot of times it'll come back and bite you later at the most inopportune times. There we go. Good. Yeah, I'm really happy with how he's handling this. And this horse was just born this way. That's all I can say. I haven't really, like I say, I haven't done this before. I just, uh, he was just born to be pretty gentle-minded, easy-going horse. And that's what he is, and I like it a lot. <laughs> okay, and if that blows off, that's fine with me. Um, I usually will let that tarp blow off the first time or two on purpose because I want them to get used to things blowing off of them. Uh, were you ever riding a horse and your hat blew off? How'd your horse handle that? Okay, in fact, that happened to me this morning. I was riding a client horse, my hat blew off. Um, as it happened, I was loping, so she didn't overreact because it flew quite a, bit, quite a bit behind me. He's handling that nicely. Okay, let's open it up a little bit more. Ask him to move off now. And that's about as that's about as nice as any horse is going to take a flag. And again, I'm without a camera person today, so if he goes out of the frame, I apologize. But it's just Duke and me out here playing around today. So you know, I, as far as I'm concerned, he's passed that test. I don't really see but I need to do a whole lot more. Let me make sure he'll walk over it on the ground. <laughs> he will. He's gonna sniff it and yeah. You are awesome, buddy. You are awesome, okay? All right, next thing. Toss this over here. I'm gonna tie some things onto the saddle. So this has not been done before. And I'll start off with these two hay bags. One of them might even have a little bit of hay in it. <laughs> Come here, bud. There you go. 
So same thing, introduce it to him, let him look at it. I know he's seen a hay bag before and he knows what it smells like. Okay, so I just hook these onto the rings somewhere here on the back of the saddle. Just like that. And I'm gonna let him walk around with that and see it flopping around down there by below his belly. Okay, I'm just getting him used to stuff. Your horse needs to be used to stuff. Things that hang, things that brush up against them. Okay, I had a wreck years ago one time. I was riding a horse and a bush brushed up against the horse's belly. Just, just a bush, okay? Uh, but I, it was long before, long before I learned to do this kind of stuff. And that bush caused that horse a whole bunch of emotional stress and he bucked and whatnot. So that's kind of where I learned how to do all this stuff. Mustangs taught me a lot of this too, because you have to show them that these things aren't going to hurt them. And he's not, you can see he's not too concerned about it. He's watching them. And you can hear the noise. kind of hitting his hind legs, which I want it to do. Good, very good, okay. Now we'll add some milk jugs. And he's doing about what I expected he would do. So I'll let him follow these milk jugs. And he's not ever seen these before. But you can see he's not overreacting at all. Okay, now can I touch him with it? A lot of horses, I've had a lot of them. I mean, they jump six feet sideways when you just touch them with it. Okay, so never know till you do it. All right, good on that side. Let me check the other side. Okay, and when you're doing this, and especially if you have a real reactive horse and you're not sure how that horse is, what they're going to do, make sure you're not standing in front of them and make sure this is where it kind of gets dangerous when you flip it over to the other side and they see it out of the other eye then that horse could jump this way toward me and this one didn't but just be aware of that that's a very common reaction when they see it come over their back and they see it out of their other eye they can overreact to that pretty quickly so this kind of approximates my legs and my feet right there by the stirrups okay Makes a little noise, bumps him there on the front legs. Good, he's handling this very well. Nice, nice. So usually what I'm thinking when I'm doing this is can I do something that's more stressful than me sitting on his back? Can I do something that'll make that horse more nervous than just me sitting up there. And if he can get used to something that's worse than me, worse in the sense of more anxiety, then he can handle me and it won't be nearly as big a deal. He's doing really well. Okay, now I will add two more jugs back there by the hay bags. And I've had horses, and I have videos here on this channel if you want to see them. Go back, in the last two years I've had three or four of them probably that had a lot of problems with this and I had to do it repeatedly. I had to do it over and over and over until they got a little better at it. Just a little better, maybe not a lot better, but a little better. Okay, that one is, let me see here. Okay, I'm just going to tie this with the haste with the uh, saddle string because I want it to hang down below there. Just putting a little loop in it, tying it there. And if it comes loose, it's not that big a deal. 
So I'll just make a little loop like that, run the string through it, just like that. So again, if, if it falls loose or whatever, I don't really care that much. Okay, good. Very good. So his lips are tight, his ears are perked up. He's, you know, he's a little anxious about it, but he is certainly not overreacting. Ooh, good. I don't, that, he didn't stop. He kind of came into me. And again, this is a gentle colt and he kind of wants to come to you for comfort. Right there, he's gonna lick and chew. I never ever interrupt a horse that's licking and chewing. Let him lick and chew and figure out that everything's okay. He can handle this. Good. And he's moving off pretty nicely. If you've watched this whole series with him, my biggest thing, because he's so gentle and half lazy, is when I get on him, I need to make sure he's going to go. So I've put most of my effort into making sure he understands cluck means go and he moves out pretty nicely. He's, he's getting pretty good. I'm fairly confident that when I get on him, he's going to move out okay. And I should be ready to ride him tomorrow or the next day. We're just about there. These are